Hi everyone. In this short series, I'm going to introduce and explore some aspects of 19-tone equal temperament, or 19-tet. 19-tet is a microtonal tuning system where the octave is split into 19 tones instead of 12. But why would you do this, and what effects would it have? To answer that question, I'll first need to go over some basics of how tuning works. A note is a wave with a specific frequency, and two notes sound consonant together if those waves line up nicely. This happens when the note's frequencies have a simple ratio. For example, 440 hertz and 660 hertz make a perfect fifth, A and D, with a 3 to 2 ratio. Perfect fourths are 4 to 3, major thirds are 5 to 4, and so on. Each interval has a ratio. The octave is the most consonant interval with a ratio of 2 to 1, a doubling in frequency. An interval tuned with an exact ratio is called the just intonation, or just version of that interval, which is considered pure. If you try to tune everything this way, though, you run into inconsistencies quickly. Take this major sixth, C and A. The just ratio of a major sixth is 5 to 3. However, if you tune these three perfect fifths as 3 to 2, you get 27 to 8. Let's lower that an octave by dividing by 2. This gives us 27 to 16, which is slightly higher than 5 to 3. Listen closely. This is the problem with just intonation. The same note can be tuned in different ways, and choosing one way will leave something out of tune elsewhere. How do we solve this problem? The modern solution is to divide the octave into 12 equal parts. This way, all intervals except the octave are slightly off, but there are no inconsistencies. This is called 12-tone equal temperament, or 12-tet. Note that, since pitch is a logarithmic scale, dividing the octave into parts actually means raising 2 to the power of that fraction of the octave. Since every interval and chord sounds the same no matter what the starting note is, harmony can be much more complex. This system raises a question, though. Is 12 the only number that works? The answer is no. There are many ways to divide the octave, and what number you choose affects both the sound of individual intervals and chords, and the larger structures you can build from them. I'm going to focus on 19-tone equal temperament in this series. To get our footing in this new system, let's look at the major scale starting on C. These are the just intervals which make it up. If we look at the closest tones to those intervals 19-tet has, we get this. The major scale has consistent sizes for its whole steps and half steps, just like in 12 tet. Notice that any major interval is one step larger than the same minor interval. For example, a major third is six steps, and a minor third is five. This fact tells us how accidentals should work. Since the difference between a major and a minor interval is one step, that's the difference a sharp or flat should represent. We can now name all of 19 tet's notes with standard notation though pitches which used to be enharmonic aren't anymore. If you count out the intervals, you'll notice that G major is C major with an F sharp, and F major is C major with a B flat, like in 12 tet. Because moving up or down a fifth adds one sharp or flat respectively, our regular key signatures work in 19 tet. Though, because 19 tet has more notes, it requires a few more key signatures featuring double sharps or flats. But that's just the beginning of understanding 19 tone equal temperament. Next time, I'll go over the intervals of 19-tet, how they compare to just intonation, and the structural implications they have.